Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today he joined me back on a, another Cafe the Machine run that I've organised, but this one's with a bit of a different purpose to it. Um, so behind me is my dad's new, well, second hand, Porsche Macan Turbo 19 plate. Um, the purpose of this visit to Cafe the Machine is, um, so next year we're planning on doing a Euro trip next year. Um, my dad's never, he's, he's into these cars, but he's never done any sort of like driving out in groups of cars or fast country road driving, anything like that. Um, so the idea behind it was we'll get a group together anyone that was interested in coming in Catherine machine like these guys here um they've very kindly joined us for the day but it's going to be sort of 50 50 drivers so i've driven to the services and then dad is going to drive sort of the last hour stint with some country roads just before Catherine the machine um just so he gets a bit of experience of an, an early start and some sort of fast country road b road driving so yeah, we'll head out in a minute, we've all had breakfast now, we'll jump out and we'll get ready to go. Second gear. Mm -hmm. I've already done it. Right, start rolling out. Right, so there we are, all parked up, lined up nice. It's actually nice being here in the summer. All the cars actually stay clean for pretty much the entire journey. But yeah, uh, so we got all our cars from the south lined up. Uh, Dale's parked over there on his own um, but some of these guys uh, the northern lot of the car collective some of them uh, Pep and his brand new is it a Mark 8 Golf GTI Tom and his AMG and Marcus has just bought he's uh, recently picked up Evo 6 um, I know nothing about Evos at all um, so I'm not going to go into anything but it just looks mint and then this E30 BMW um, in I don't know if it, it looks like it, uh, San Marino Blue, um, very clean example, no sort of obvious signs of rust or anything like that, so someone has taken a lot of time to look after this one. So, caffeine and machines seem to always have some sort of event on, and today, or this weekend rather, should I say, seems to be some sort of like off roading kind of biased weekend. Because um, we got some new Isuzu, as I say, say the brand, uh, 4x4 with a roofing camp box on top. It's pretty cool, seems to be someone's having a go. Uh, there's quite a few defenders here, we've got a new one up the front of the building, but then he's got these old defenders, what are they, uh, the 90s? The smaller cab ones, proper off roading toys, jacked up. And look at the angle on that back wheel. <laughs> that's ridiculous, that's where you know it could take some punishment off road. And that spring travel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, as always, up front we've got a very nice, varied selection brand new RS3 Saloon MP4 12C, uh, Gen 1 Audi R8. Uh, M2 Comp, which we love, obviously. Um, yeah, and then a nice silver, uh, very clean spec Porsche GT3. And then we have a real San Marino Blue M4 Comp. Very nice, very brilliant colour. 
always loving the sun, really pops. Probably one of the coolest cars here is this Lotus 430 Exige Cup. Um, quite a rare car from what I've been told, don't know much about. One of the coolest things about it though, uh, don't think you're going to be able to see in there. Inside, uh, the gearbox there. Open gear link, <laughs> open gear linkages. Love that, like a K shifter, love it. Yeah, proper, proper race car. I don't think you get much more race car than that, really. Oh. Always a nice turnout. Another M2 comp. Very cool. Subtle spec again. 458 Italia. Love these. The the note of the engine noise that come out of these is insane. Uh, what I would love to do is get behind the wheel of one of these and really feel what that engine is about. That nice Italian prancing horse. Main purpose of coming up here, like I said at the beginning of the video, is for my dad. But, and like I said when I got here, there's always something going on. And this is probably one of the coolest trucks I'll ever see. And it is one of the Arctic Explorer Toyota Hiluxes from uh, Top Gear uh, 10 or so seasons ago. When Jeremy and James May took it to the North Pole. I mean it says official Top Gear on there, but um, this might be one of more of the support trucks that they took but I love the fact it's even got the toilet <laughs> that James made was on hanging off the edge um, and the rifle case where he nearly blew his head off when he looked down the barrel yeah no, that's really cool again this is why I like it here because you don't see that sort of stuff every day had the most brightest convoy turn up. I thought I heard a Fiesta crackle and pop map. But yeah, Fiesta ST performance editions. Yeah. How many got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Still going, as a focus. Yeah, if I remember correctly, these performance editions were limited to the UK market only, which sort of pissed off a lot of other people worldwide. But I think they were a bit expensive for what they were, in my opinion, for a Fiesta ST. There we go, a little trip to caffeine machine done. All these guys behind me are heading off to Diddley Squat Farmers. It's not quite far from me, I think it's a half hour, something like that. But we got other things to do, so we'll have to save uh, Diddley for another day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little journey, you enjoyed the drive out as always. Sam's revving it again. Um, but yeah, I shall see you on the next one very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>